And to that, I would say that dopamine and pleasure are separate. There's a separation between liking and wanting. And we can see this in studies where they use a neurotoxin to basically knock out all the dopamine receptors in a rat's brain and see that these rats still like food just as much as rats that have totally intact dopamine systems. From this, we can say that pleasure isn't reliant on dopamine, but that isn't to say that there isn't a correlation between pleasuring things and things that release dopamine, as most things that are pleasurable also release dopamine. Dopamine just doesn't cause pleasure. Additionally, if you think about humans, we kind of make ourselves experience horrors all the time for later on rewards. For example, we might hate going to work, but we love getting money. So we go to work all the time and endure that horror, which then lets us experience the pleasure of later. So again, we're not always running away from this. It is possible though that other animals are incapable of this because they simply don't understand the later rewards. So what would be interesting is since this argument is inherently an argument from, you know, pleasure or liking something because this person is saying since we don't like the horror we go away from it it would be interesting to see an experiment where they train rats to know that pressing a certain lever will give them a reward that they really really like but then hit them with the obstacle of but when you press this lever you get shocked by something or you get something that is painful or something they don't like and see if they can still work to get this reward through the pain in the same way that a human might with work or something like this.